surge of activity on social media during this um, lockdown period. Facebook and Instagram alone have seen a 40% increase in usage um, due to COVID-19, purely because people are at home, we're on our computers, we're on our phones, um, and views for the likes of kind of Instagram Live and Facebook Live videos doubled um, just within that first week of lockdown alone. So your followers are spending more time online than they ever have before. Um, so it does present you with um, quite a unique opportunity um, to deepen your relationship with this audience um, and increase your brand affinity. Um, it's also important to recognise the uniqueness of this situation. Um, and we have to really tread a fine line here. Um, so it probably wouldn't be advisable con to continue um, your social media output business as usual, um, or we can risk coming across a little tone deaf um, to audiences with a kind of heightened sensitivity at the moment. So when it comes to improving our social media output, it's important to step back for a second um, and just ask ourselves, what is it we want to achieve from social media? Um, do we want to increase our brand awareness? Do we want to increase our sales, understand our patients and our audience a little bit better? Um, increase our traffic to the website, talk about our successes, keep up with our competition or kind of share our good news stories. Of course, it goes without saying that this is a long list and it would be challenging to deal with all of these kind of priorities at once. Um, so I would recommend choosing a couple um, to begin with and prioritising them. So perhaps you want to start looking at increasing awareness around your brand um, and driving traffic to your website. Maybe you want to encourage more people to book consultations with you, um, or maybe you'd like to share some of your amazing testimonials here. So social media will be different for everyone on this webinar and our goals will be different. Um, so don't think for a second that you need to do all of this at once, um, but just considering this list um, gives us a kind of port of call and helps to focus our attention on the kind of content that we'd like to create. For the majority of us, um, the ultimate goal when it comes to social media is converting those followers into loyal customers. Um, so social media is a very delicate balance of selling yourself and your brands and your services without feeling to that audience that you're really pushing for a hard sell. Uh, when I work with my clients, I always, um, to build up their presence on social media, I always try and keep this in mind. So if we combine education with a really clear brand identity, plus sharing your unique stories and creating some really informative content, then this will result in increased activity and ultimately sales. So we want to develop a platform where our existing and our prospective clients can come to find informative, business critical information about our clinics. Um, but at the same time, we want to have some really engaging and interesting content. Um, and I think a really important part of the aesthetics industry is trust. So you want to develop a space where your customers can come to learn more about you and your services and also about the work that you've done from your testimonials. So how can you make your social media presence a success? Um, I always think that it comes down to kind of four key areas. Um, you want to be authentic, you want to be consistent, you want to really understand your audience and provide value and education. So in terms of what I mean by that, in terms of being authentic, definitely do not try to be your competition down the road. Understand your own brand, your own clinic, and make sure you stay authentically true to yourself. It's honestly less complicated than attempting to be something you're not anyway, um, and it resonates on such a much more meaningful level, um, not only with your current patients, but your prospective customers. Um, in terms of consistency, this kind of touches on two points, um, posting consistently um, and also being consistent in your messaging. So are you posting regularly or do you kind of post on an ad hoc basis when you have the time? It is easy to get into a routine, developing a really simple timeline around when you want to post. And I'll go on to that in a little bit. Um, having consistent messaging and a really clear brand voice in your posts also makes it a lot easier to resonate with your parent, uh, with your patients. Um, you want to develop a strong brand voice to provide that consistent communication with your patients. Understanding your audience, this is also really, really important. Um, you want to know your patient segmentation. Um, do you work with people within a specific age range? Do you have a geographical area that you cover? 
um, you're going to want to bear this in mind when you're creating your content as well. And then value and education. So I, I always think what kind of posts do I find interesting on social media? And I think that that's always a good place to start by asking yourself what content you find really interesting and really engaging. Um, everyone is on the platform trying to provide value ultimately. Um, but if you really understand your audience and you combine that with a great consistent message, as well as being really authentic to your brand, um, this will provide your audience with the most rele um, relevant and valuable content ultimately.